Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making mascarpone cheese. I want to welcome you all to another Andiamo La Cucina episode. Um, you might notice in a lot of my recipes we use fresh ricotta, mascarpone cheese. So I like to make my own because I think it's more cost effective. When you go to buy in the supermarket an eight ounce mascarpone cheese, it'll cost you roughly anywhere from six to eight dollars for eight ounces when I can make it with a 32 ounce container or a quart of heavy cream and some lemon juice. So that's what we'll be making here today. So I went ahead and poured in 32 ounces into a nice pot that has a thick bottom over medium heat. And we wanna get this to almost like a rolling bubbly boil. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in the fresh lemon juice. I have about a little over a quarter cup, just slightly over. So we want to get this to temperature, we want to continue stirring this constantly so it doesn't get scalded or burn at the bottom of the pot. So medium heat is fine. Um, this will help you because if you use the recipe in the video for ricotta, now you have the mascarpone cheese, you can make ricotta cheesecake um, at a better cost than you would had you bought the products to make or the ingredients to make the ricotta cheesecake at the store. So I hope you enjoy this video. We're gonna go ahead and take this to a nice, um, like I said, sort of roll and boil. We wanna continually stir. And then once we put the lemon in, the, the fresh lemon juice, we will um, continue to stir to get it to a thick consistency. And then we will put it over a sieve in a strainer. And it'll take 24 hours in the refrigerator overnight. Um, I want to remind you guys, if you like these videos, if you enjoy the recipes, please subscribe to the channel, hit like, leave a comment, invite others to the page. That'll help me know that my time isn't wasted and you guys are enjoying this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause here and then we'll continue in a little bit once I put the the lemon into the cream. So I will be back shortly once I get this closer to the temperature and then we'll continue to go through the video and see how the mascarpone forms itself. And then that, in the moment that I'm doing that as well, I'm gonna go ahead and get my cheesecloth, my container, my bowl. This does not let out a lot of whey, just so you know, not like the ricotta. This will let out just a little bit and the difference between your mascarpone cheese and your cream cheese is that um, mascarpone is a lot creamier, a lot more spreadable, let's say, than the cream cheese. The mascarpone has a nutty flavor versus the tangy flavor that Philadelphia cream cheese or any cream cheese has. Both good, but I prefer the mascarpone over the Philadelphia or cream cheese in general. Um, but again, I use both in my recipes with my ricotta cheesecakes, either mascarpone and ricotta, or sometimes I use mascarpone and Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia cream cheese and um, ricotta. So let me go ahead and get this to temp and then we'll put in the lemon juice like I said and I'll prepare everything else that I need so we can go over this. Be back shortly. Okay guys, so I got this back up to temperature. We're gonna check it. Well, not so much of the temperature, but you know, um, it thickens. And we're gonna check it by doing this to the back of the spoon. As you can see, it keeps, it's on there. It's, it's staying nice and thick. So we're gonna actually shut this off. And we're gonna pour this into the ice bath that I have prepared here, which the bowl is nice and cold. I'm gonna pour this in. We'll let it cool off and then we'll put it in the strainer, which I have another one that I did earlier because I need quite a bit of this. So for some other videos that I'm doing. So that's sitting in the ice bath. We're gonna let that get nice and cooled off. And then we'll put it in the strainer like I have here and a 
strainer over a pot and cheesecloth and let this get cold. You'll actually see a little bit, not much, maybe a couple tablespoons of whey at the bottom, but you can see this is like yellowish, okay? It's like a yellow flavor. It'll get cool and then this will, I'm gonna put the plastic saran wrap on it. It'll go in the refrigerator covered, sitting in the um, cheesecloth still and hanging basically over a strainer in a bowl and I'll put the saran wrap on, it'll go in the refrigerator and it'll stay overnight. Once overnight, it'll coagulate really nice. It'll have a very creamy cheese um, texture. And again, the mascarpone cheese has a nutty flavor compared to the, the regular American cream cheese, which is more like a tangy flavor. So let that sit, let that cool off in the ice bath and then I'll strain it like I did the other one and it'll go in the refrigerator and then I will show you some pictures of the result, okay? Again, thank you for watching. Um, please look at the ricotta video so you can have the ricotta, the mascarpone, and which you'll be using for recipes in the future if you continue to follow. So make sure you hit follow, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell on top so you'll get notifications whenever I post, they'll just pop up and you'll be notified so you get the next recipe. Thank you again. Have a great day. Okay hey guys, I went ahead and switched pots because I was having a hard time with that and, and I got a whisk to finish this off because I really want to mix this well and mix it every so often um, to get it as thick as I can. Once that gets really thick, well nice and thick I should say, I'm gonna put it into a bowl I have here with ice water to let it thicken a little bit, like cool off and continue to get a little thick before I put it into the cheesecloth and the strainer. And then, you know, once that cools off at room temperature, then I will put in the refrigerator with the saran wrap. So again, I'm just switched pots. It's gonna take a little bit to get back up to the temperature since I switched the pot. And, um, if you see that your milk starts to foam up too much and boil over, just lower the temperature. If you notice that after like five minutes, it's not getting thick enough, you maybe you need to put a little bit more lemon. You know, lemons, you know, they're funny because some, sometimes some a little bit more, has a little bit more acidity to it than others. And it could be like on how ripe it is or, you know, um, so those are things that could take place. And your cream as well. So, and see this is starting to boil up on me, so I'm gonna lower it a little bit. And it's just basically the waiting game. Just waiting to get this as thick as we can. And I showed you in the back of the wooden spoon, you wanna see that, that it coats it and that it stays there. But since I switched pots now, I gotta get this back up to where I had it. So just a little bit of a waiting game. Let it get nice and thick. And every so often, like I said, to stir. You don't have to stir it as vigorously as I am, or you know, as often. But you want do want to stir it occasionally because you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan and burn. Again, this is heavy cream, 32 ounces, about a quarter cup or drop more of fresh lemon juice after it comes to a like sort of almost like a rolling foamy boil, but not really boiling, not big bubbles. Just as it starts to foam and it's getting really hot is when you pour in that lemon juice and then you want to stir and basically wait until it gets nice and thick. So we'll wait till this gets thick, then we'll put in our ice water bath, a bowl inside another bowl. So it gets a little bit cooler before we put it into the cheesecloth for it to strain overnight for the 24 hours. Hi guys, so we're back. Um, we had a lapse here. 
This is the mascarpone cheese. As you can see in the bowl underneath, there is whey, a couple of tablespoons. And I did cover it. I didn't tie it because I didn't feel like I needed to. So I'm gonna unwrap this here and you can see the beautiful mascarpone cheese. I'm gonna take that now. I'm gonna remove it from the cheesecloth and put it into a container. But you can see how nice and creamy it is. You can scoop it. And I'm gonna, play, like I said, I'm gonna place this into a container and I will be using it in my recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, session. Uh, remember to follow, like, and share. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell so that you get notifications as they, as I post. Thank you.